please anyone? Hi guys, I just made some cookies, but not just any cookies, they're hearts. And they have jello in them. What? So today I tried out a jello cookie recipe and I want to share it with you guys and let you guys know what I think of it and of course how to make it. As you can see, mine are hearts, but you guys can use any shape that you want. You can cut them freehand or use cookie cutters, which is of course easier. And they would be perfect for Valentine's Day, which is coming up really soon. But you can make these all year round, so I'm trying to do some more projects that are kind of Valentine's themed, but kind of just like hearts for any time. Hearts 365 days a year. Before I get into the tutorial, I want you guys to know that I have some other Jell-O videos and I'll list them in the description box below. Those include a Jell-O milkshake that I did a couple years ago and some Jell-O Play-Doh, which is really fun. So check those out after you watch this video if you think those things are fun. And if you want to see more Jell-O or baking crafts in the future, then give this video a thumbs up. Now, let's make some hearts! and jello ties them. That possibly could be the lamest transition to the tutorials ever, okay. The ingredients that I'm using are one bag of store-bought sugar cookie mix, one cup of cake flour, a pinch of salt, one full stick of softened butter, two eggs, and a dash of vanilla extract. Combine all of your ingredients together really, really well with either a spatula or an electric mixer. Then I'm splitting my dough in half because I want to make two different colors. Choose your favorite flavor of gelatin, Put in a fourth cup and mix it in. I like the color of the raspberry as is, but berry blue is pretty light, so I'm going to also include food coloring in this mixture. Now roll your dough into balls and you're going to put those in the fridge for about 10 minutes to let them chill and harden a bit. When you take it out, it should be a little bit more firm and easier to work with. You're going to flatten it out and then using a cookie cutter, cut out any shape that you want. If it's still a little bit sticky and gets stuck to your plate, then you can kind of roll your dough in some sugar. I know that's a lot of sugar, but this will really help it come off the plate easily and then you can transport it to your baking sheet. I'm baking my first batch of cookies at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 10 minutes, but keep in mind I'm using an electric oven and it's not as hot as the gas ovens that I've worked with in the past. So if your oven is super hot, maybe try 350. Whatever you do, don't let them burn. So if the timing is different than mine, that's fine. Just make sure that the edges are a little bit golden brown and they're ready to take out. Now you have some adorable Jell-O heart cookies that you can serve at a party or just share with your family and friends. If you end up making some, then use hashtag SoCraftTastic on Instagram to show me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I am like holding on to these cookies for dear life, but if you did enjoy it, then give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my SoCraftTastic channel if you haven't already. Leave me a comment in the comment section below about anything you want. You could tell me a story about your day, tell me what your dog's name is, tell me what color the sky is. I 
need to stop telling you guys what to comment. Just comment what's on your mind. If you do end up making some jello heart cookies or anything that you have seen in my tutorial videos, then just use the hashtag SoCraftastic on Instagram and I will check out your photo. Woo! Now I'm going to try the cookies on camera. I have tried these earlier, but now I let them cool off. I like to eat them when they are fresh out of the oven. That's how I love cookies and brownies the most. Just fresh. I like my cookies to be a little bit chewy, so with the recipe that I used and the time that I baked them for, they definitely have a little bit of a mushy center as opposed to being hard all over. So that's something I definitely like about these. And this is actually just straight up jello, no food coloring. So if you're using the raspberry jello, this is the color that you are gonna get. As for taste, you can definitely tell that there's a little bit of a difference between a normal sugar cookie and the jello cookie, but the raspberry one doesn't have a ton of flavor, which is strange. Raspberry flavoring is usually really strong, so I'm kind of surprised this isn't more saturated with raspberry. I really don't know how to describe the taste. It's not too much different, but that's just this flavor, so let me tell you what I think of the blue raspberry one. This one definitely has more of a distinct flavor. If you were just eating these and you didn't know it was a jello cookie, you probably wouldn't be able to pick it up and say, hey, I just ate a blue raspberry cookie, it was amazing. But there's just something more distinct about this flavor than this one. This one definitely has more of a kick. It almost is like a really toned down, like lemony taste, but it doesn't taste like lemon. It's just like you're getting citrus or something that hits the back of your tongue. I mean, I guess it's a very faint berry taste. You might be able to add more jello powder to the mixture if you want to be a little bit daring and see how that would turn out. But if you want to get the full jello cookie experience, I would definitely recommend blue over the raspberry, but I actually kind of like the raspberry more. Just my personal preference that it's more toned down. I'm not much of a sweets eater, so it's not as sweet, even though there's a ton of sugar in these. So if you guys want a cookie, come over and eat one or a ton because I need help. That's all. Check out my links in the description box below, and I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. I'll see you on Friday in my newest DIY. Bye. Cookies? Um. It's a plate of hearts. So Take one, please. Come on. Or two. Cookies for everyone. That was Leo. Leo and his bell. Ow, the cat is biting my foot. That awkward moment when your cat is doing something in his litter box while you're filming. <laughs>